Welcome to another full body workout. Today you're gonna to need a set of dumbbells as well as a resistance band or tubing. When you're ready, let's get started. For the pulsing squat with a heel lift, we're gonna stand nice and wide. So think of this as a sumo squat. Toes are pointed out at an angle. We're gonna lift one heel off the floor. We're gonna go down and pulse for 10. Now, you decide how deep you wanna go. You don't have to go super deep. Do what works for you, all right? Now, when I stand up, I'll go out of camera just temporarily as I get into this squat position. All right, so let's get into position. Standing nice and wide, the toes are pointed out, abs are tight, butt is squeezed. Lift one heel up, hands can be wherever you want. I'll hold mine here. If you're more advanced and you wanna grab a dumbbell and hold it, you may do that as well. Abs tight, let's go, take it down. Pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice job. Let's bring it up. Let's rest it out. Now that was a good test to determine how hard was that. Could you go a little bit deeper? Could you add a dumbbell? We always want to be pushing ourselves to do a little bit more. That goes pretty fast. So think about what maybe makes sense for you. And we're going to do it again. So let's get back into position. Standing nice and wide, abs are tight, butt is squeezed. Lift one heel. Let's go. Take it down. Let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. Nice job. We're going to rest it out one more time here. Take a break. This one goes really fast, but it should be intense. You should be ready when I say 10 to switch or to rest. All right. So we're going to do it again one last time. Let's get back into position. Standing nice and wide. Toes pointed out. Abs are tight. Let's lift one heel. Take it down and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. Nice job. And rest it out. To do a push-up, the secret is building overall upper body strength. So we think of the push-up as a chest exercise, but your whole body is working. So you need strong shoulders, strong back, strong core, strong glutes. It all comes together. If you haven't already done the push-up series, I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's basically six weeks worth of upper body strength training to build that strength you need to do push-ups. All right, so today I want you to find the right surface for you. It might be a countertop. It might be the back of a sofa or a kitchen table. Maybe it's a workout bench, or maybe you're already to the floor and you're doing knee push-ups. If you're already advanced in doing on your toe push-ups, then you'd know exactly what you need to do I'm going to be doing them on my knees. If you can do them on your toes, please do them on your toes. If you can do one or two on your toes, do those, then drop and finish to on your knees. All right? So we're going to get started. Find your surface. Hands on your surface. If you're on the floor, your knees are back behind your butt. Abs are nice and tight. 
Your elbows are gonna point back towards the back of your room. You're gonna go down as far as you can go. Maybe you go a couple of inches and right back up, or maybe you go all the way to the floor and back up, but you decide. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these, do as many as you can do. Abs are tight, let's go, take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job, push it back. Let's rest it out. Now take a break. You're gonna want probably at least a minute rest here, maybe two minutes. You wanna make sure that your upper body has recovered so that you can do 10 more. If you jump in too quickly, you're gonna fatigue too fast, and maybe you only get a few in. If you need to rest in between the 10, I'd rather you take a quick break and then finish your 10 than to just stop when you first get tired. All right, we always wanna be pushing ourselves to do just a bit more. We're gonna do it again. So find your surface, hands on your surface. Abs are nice and tight. Let's take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, push it back. Let's rest it out again. Take your break, let that heart rate come down. I know your chest, your shoulders are probably feeling the bulk of it, so make sure you rest. And when you're ready, we're gonna do that one more time. So let's get back into position. are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Sit it back and rest it out. For the banded lap pull down, you have a couple of options. You can use the resistance band or you can use a resistance tubing, whichever you prefer. If you're using the resistance band, just make sure that there are no rips or tears beginning. These things do not last forever. So you can use that one. Your other option is to use a resistance tubing and then you get to decide where to place your hands. You can have your hands a little bit wider or you can bring them in to make it more difficult. These also come in different strengths, so make sure you've got the right one. You probably don't need a super heavy resistance tubing because we're gonna adjust our hands to make it work for us. All right, so you pick which one I'm gonna use the tubing. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, abs are tight, butt is squeezed. Arms go up. Again, you may need to play with your hand positioning. We're gonna bend our elbows and bring the band down towards our chest, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Let's go, bring it down. One, really pull. Two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, two more. Last one here. Nice job. Let's rest it out. Now I know if you're using the tubing, these ends are gonna be dangling. Just, you know, just ignore them. Um, if they do hit you, they're very soft, so they're not gonna hurt. All right, so we're gonna take a nice break here. If you're using the tubing or the band really, think about your pulling out as you're pulling down. All right, we're gonna do that again. So standing up nice and tall, abs are tight. Arms go straight up. 
We're gonna bend those elbows, pull it down towards your chest. Let's go. Bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, lots of control, eight, nine, one more here, bring it down, extend, nice job, now we're going to rest it out again, take a break, when you're ready, we're going to do it one last time, make sure your heart rates come down, if you need your back to rest just a bit, go ahead, hit pause, come back when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna get going again. Standing up nice and tall, abs are tight, butt is squeezed, extend your arms. Let's go, bring it down. One, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. And rest it out. You'll need one dumbbell for the empty the can. When we do this, one good way to think about this, we're start off with your hand behind you. You're gonna lift it up. Your thumb would be pointing down towards the floor as we lift, all right? So put the dumbbell in the working arm. Standing up tall, abs are tight, shoulders are pulled back. We're gonna take the arm up about shoulder height, thereabouts, and bring it back down. Lots of control. Let's go. Remember, thumb goes down. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one here. Nice job. Now we're going to switch arms. Start off with the back of your hand facing your butt. Standing up tall, abs are tight, let's go. Thumb points down, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job, let's rest it out. So it's called empty the can for a reason. So when you're turning, you're emptying that can. So this would be can up, there's can down, all right? We're gonna do it again when you're ready. Standing up tall, abs are tight. The back of your hand is facing your butt. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Let's switch and take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job, let's rest it out. Now if you haven't already discovered this for yourself, you're gonna want a lighter weight for this. I'm using eight pound dumbbell here. You may start off with a water bottle, a three pound dumbbell, five pound, gradually just working your way up. I generally don't go much heavier than an eight pound. All right, standing up tall, we're gonna do this one more time. 
Abs are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Let's switch sides. Last time through. Standing up tall. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. And rest it out. bicep curl we'll be doing single single doubles so two singles will equal one rep and a double will equal rep number two and so forth we're standing up nice and tall shoulders pull back abs are tight back of your hand is facing your quads with your elbows pinned to your side single single doubles let's go single squeeze single and a double there's two Single, single, and a double. That's four. Lots of control here. Single, single. There's six. Single, single, double. There's eight. Single, single. Last time here, a double. Nice job. Now let's rest it out. Take just a few, we'll, we'll take a few seconds here to rest. But if you need a longer break, just hit pause, take your break, and come on back. All right, we're going to do it again. Standing up tall, abs are tight, hands in position, elbows pinned to your side. Let's go. Single, single, and a double. There's two. Single. Single, double makes four. Single, single, here's six. Single, single, and a double. Two more here. Single, single, last time with the double. Nice job. Let's rest it out. Again, if you need to take a longer break, do that. If you want to change your weights, hit pause, grab maybe a heavier weight. Whatever works best for you. All right, so we're going to do it one last time, standing up nice and tall. Dumbbells in position, elbows pinned to your side. Let's go. Single. Single and a double. Two. Single. Single. There's four, single, single, and six, single, single, double, there's eight, two more, single, single, last double, nice job, and rest it out. You'll need one dumbbell for the lying single arm tricep extension. So grab your dumbbell, let's lay that back on the floor, feet on the floor. Pelvic tilt, get that lower back to press to the floor. Really think about squeezing your abs. Working arm goes straight up, holding the dumbbell. Now I like to take a couple fingers of my non-working arm and put it on the inside of my elbow joint. This just reminds me to keep my elbow pointing up towards the ceiling. So you don't want your arm to cave out or swing over. We want it to be straight up. 
We're gonna bring this dumbbell with lots of control down towards your shoulder, but not crashing into your shoulder. So we're fighting gravity here, lots of control. Let's go, take it down, squeeze it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Lots of control here. One more. Nice job. Bring your weight in. Let's switch hands. Arm goes straight up. Two fingers on the inside of your elbow joint. Let's go. Bring it down. Lots of control. And up. There's one. Lower back's pressing to the floor. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Bring your weight in. Let's switch hands. Now I'm going to keep moving since we are alternating, but if you need a longer break, just hit pause. Let's go. Make sure your lower back's pressing to the floor. Your abs are tight. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Last one. Job, bring your weight in, switch hands, get into position, lower back's pressing to the floor, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, bring your weight in. Let's switch hands, we're gonna do that one more time through on both sides. Let's go. Abs are tight. One. Lots of control. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Let's switch sides. Last time through. Let's go. Bring it down. Lots of control. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job, bring your weights in. Drop your weight, roll it up, and rest it out. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.